Hey there, folks. It's Phil Miguel, a mortgage professor, brought to you by Mortgage Alliance. Mortgages are marvelous. This is one of those days when you absolutely feel fantastic, absolutely marvelous about having the kind of job that I have. Not so long ago, an individual came to me. The world was crashing around them because three years ago, approximately, they took out one of these subprime mortgages. You know, the ones that say, hey, if you don't have qualifying income, come to us, we'll give you loan to value 90, 95%. No problem. Do you have decent credit? No problem. Now, this particular individual has worked very hard through his whole life to establish a very good credit rating. But three years ago, he was in a self-employed environment where his documented income to qualify for a mortgage under normal criteria didn't meet the default insurer criteria at the time. So what happened is he got his mortgage from one of these subprime mortgage lenders. All the way through these three years, he's maintained the payments on the mortgage, paid his other bills well, and happened to change career paths and is in a salary position and under normal circumstances would have qualified for a mortgage. But here's the issue. Three years have gone by and property values for his home is now less than what he owes on his mortgage after paying for three years. Out. Now, with a mortgage coming due, what it means is after you made your 36 payment, because it was a three-year term, your whole mortgage is due and payable, like you got one humongous big payment to make. And of course, if you can't make that payment, then the lender typically has to put you into foreclosure. Now, this individual did come to the mortgage professor. So what's the end result? Well, this individual is going to be able to keep his credit rating, not going to have a judgment as a result of having a foreclosure on a property where the mortgage exceeds the value of the property, because we entered into an agreement with the lender that allows this person with good income and good credit, but what's called an upside down mortgage, a underwater mortgage, a mortgage south, all of those funny little words that basically means whatever your loan is, it exceeds the value of the property. So we're able to get quote unquote normal, high ratio, default insured money to pay out the lender. And our negotiation is we've got a customer extremely happy and the lender has actually saved some money from a very bad situation for everybody. So that's looking after your money with the mortgage professor. If you know someone or you're in that position, let me tell you how it's done.